Alrighty everyone, welcome to Windsor. It doesn't get much better than this on the eve of a safari and we're here for a very special event and that is the 25th anniversary of BMW Safari. So 25 continuous years running this fantastic event and you are the lucky people that entered and got places in this event. And we're very excited to be sitting here tonight um, knowing that we have a week of awesome riding. Many of you will notice that the Safari logo mentions since 1994. It's actually exactly the same logo, or almost exactly the same logo, isn't it, Boothy? Uh, as the first event in 1994, and we thought, what a way to celebrate our 25 years. But a lot of it's remained the same, and the emphasis is the same. It's about us getting out there with you and enjoying uh, the wonderful country that we live in on this wonderful box. Welcome to the 25th anniversary BMW Safari. I, um, those that, that don't know me, I know Nigel's introduced me, but Chris Erka, and along with Shane Booth and Anne here and the rest of our team, we're pumped to have you guys along here. And what a, what a great place to start at Windsor. Um, the day one briefing, and then we're gonna head outside down on the grass area for a bit of a cocktail style dinner, and we're gonna stop talking and let everyone mingle and have a great night, so. So thanks very much everyone. I said look at the smile, you can't get it off her face. <laughs> you can see it in her eyes. <laughs> oh yes I am. Been looking forward to this for 10 years. They were expecting a lot of dirt, I think. Relaxed scenery. Big group of people doing the same thing. It'd be awesome. Coffee at the other end. <laughs> doing a few wheelies, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Well, you guys are raring to go. We are. We have no breakfast. We're getting, just getting good grid position. We yeah, don't want to be caught in the back. <laughs> Pretty cool actually, those dirt roads have been good. Nice and uh, nice and easy, especially if you're not uh, overly talented like myself. But it's dry, warm. So far everyone's safe, we're all having fun. Uh, yeah. oh, so you having fun amazing. so far? Yes, yeah? amazing. Cool. Beyond my expectations. Awesome man, I love it. Yeah. Good ride. Great stuff, and we're going to push on to the next spot. North Road. Great North Road was the first convict road that led out of Sydney. Uh, having a great day, really enjoying the BMW Safari. Uh, a lot of dusty roads ahead, I think.
fantastically. Very nice beginning. Rolling into the Saddler's Arms is pretty awesome. The, the, you know, 250 bikes and all that beautiful scenery going through Lower McDonald's. That was pretty awesome. That was really that was a beautiful. next little stretch is going to be good. We are at Wallenby, uh, the Wallenby Pub, which is renowned for its camping and uh, and yeah, that's a great rest stop. <laughs> How are you going? It's fantastic. Yeah. This is the best thing ever. Looking forward to a nice cold drink uh, now. I'll, I'll yeah. The, yeah. I can't believe this is day one. I'm um, heading up some dirt roads now to some um, gnarly tracks. Looking forward to it. Quarter mile. Uh, <laughs> you look knackered. Yeah, it took a bit to get the bike back up there. Isn't it? Yeah, it's hard work going uphill on a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about what's going on with your... Uh, with the colouring? No, camouflage, mate. Camouflage. A bit of war paint. A bit what of happened? war paint? Yeah, otherwise I'd come home and the kids don't think I've worked hard enough. I just went over in the mud. Really? Yeah. Well, it was one of those mud pits? One of them, and it was the first fall off I've had since I dislocated the collarbone. So it was nice to know I can default to the right. And how's your collarbone feel good? Yeah, collarbone's feel on the left, so that's okay. Perfect! Yeah. You got one good one. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling like that's out of the way now. Yeah, getting the heebie-jeebies done on day one, yeah. now you're right. And what a nice day it is. Oh. A look out that looks out between Newcastle and Central Coast. So we're uh, this is the Wadigans, top of the hill. Heat and look out. Learn something new every day. But yeah, beautiful place. Very popular for trail bike riding all weekend and four-wheel drives. Beautiful look out. Big smiles. Great track. Spread out a bit now so we can ride our safari. Heap of fun. First safari, 12:50. I can't believe how capable it is. I'm having a ball. No wheelies though. Public roads. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, I'm trying to wait for for a quick thing. Yeah, I can tell. They're going really good. Uh, I didn't quite like the erosion, huh? I'll have a look. But the other boys did. Yeah. Great day.
ABS. You know, I like Come it on. when it, I like it when it big. Yeah. Yeah. But there was a couple of times it was like, whoa, yeah. Yeah. just hang it on. <laughs> <laughs> There's off-camber stuff, some of the turns will be off-camber, the road's very crowned. It's a great ride through there, but you need to stay sharp. Two days in, uh, bike's running well, um, body's fit. Had a coffee, the sun's up, shining, ready to rock and roll. But I think I must have been a Jonah. I had four guys off in front of me. Yeah, come around the corner, a little, little bit too. <laughs> got on the gas too much, just laid down the soft sand. And you got a blood nose, so who hit you? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and you got a big one. <laughs> you know what? They said a sign back there that said mining's dangerous. <laughs> What do you mean? We ride this all the time. I was only up here three weeks ago. Really? Yeah, right. This road. How many times have you done this road, Wayne? Probably ten yeah. times. Yeah. Dry as yeah. anything. Yeah. When it rains, it just you can see how they put the gravel on it. That's why they put the gravel on, but it's really muddy. And you come to those corners and the mud, like the clay is this deep, you just go, whoa. You gotta be real careful. But now it's just like Well there we were. Right? Yeah. He was behind me. Yeah. And he was right up Mars. And then he overtook me on the inside, by the way, guys. Took on the inside here and took off. And I saw, I think I overtook, went around the corner at the same time. And I, as I took off, my bike just slid out from under me. Is that yours across there? Oh, did you land over in that I, ditch? I landed up here. My bike was up here. Oh, no shit. I come around here and the, I think, oh, what did you do? This is probably around here. Well, good luck. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 the case. Perfect. And the guy's right behind me. <laughs> so I'm going. I was just. I was going too quick and I couldn't see shit. Oh, here I am. What was the use of it?
sliding, lots of gravel, yeah, lots of dirt. The scenery, the scenery. Scenery. Tracks, the scenery was fantastic. Unbelievable. And speed down through those tracks, sliding around. Excellent! Yes. We were on it! <laughs> sweeping, sweeping scenery. Paul not bidding his bike today. <laughs> yeah, we saw a camel. We saw a camel. We saw that camel. Yeah, right? these guys didn't see that camel. Oh really? Because we were riding too fast. Yeah. Too fast. Yeah. It was brilliant. That that last bit there, we came around, and you know where where the um, oh the you could just see the hills, hills right through the Barrington tops, and and then this last section here was just uh, ten out of ten. Yeah. Slides are not good on these tires. <laughs> Is that gonna last for the next four days? Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Got a nail in the rear tire. Yeah. Good. You remember Bob, do you? Yeah. There was a photo featuring you in that river crossing at Cape York. Is that the same bike? Yeah. And it's still going strong? In Western Australia too. That's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. In one of those deep uh, crossings. Yeah, that's. I remember that. That had a heap of rain. New dash or? And Benno still laughs about that because do you remember when we dewatered it then and I put my head over the, spark, over the cylinders and pressed the starter motor and it shot me in the head? <laughs> All right, Vince. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep yeah, rolling. Yeah. See you, Bob. We'll see you tonight anyway. Okay. On the HD option here, boss. Yeah, it's a great ride so far. It's supposed to be wet tomorrow.
some of the countryside today was just stunning. It was my we favorite. lived in such a beautiful country. And you could see yeah, yeah. the trail of dust for kilometers yeah. from a distance. It was amazing. Actually, there was an area where we were still on the tar doing some beautiful, beautiful road. And in the distance, you could see that we were going to go onto the onto the dirt because just there was a little this, bit of dust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like, okay, that's where we're heading. There's my mates. <laughs> Oh. Smart. Yeah. And I'm not sure if it, I think it might have got caught up under the gear lever and it tapped it up to like fifth gear so instead of no the engine was holding it and suddenly it started flying. Oh, oh, like, oh. Oh, Just that little bit of rain on the clay hey? Yeah. So sketch. Yeah. Oh. I, I fell over, so it's only only improvements from here. So what happened? Just slid out on the loose gravel and uh, couldn't catch it in time, and then gone. So get back up, dust off the, the bike, and then I'm good to go. So. <laughs> Just a phenomenal day too. The uh, route was just absolutely perfect. The scenery was absolutely magnificent. It was uh, just an awesome day. Good, um, it's almost like see, we've tracked that last section of the grass, you know, and it's like round. That was good fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, who had a good day? Another awesome day at BMW Safari. Uh, I think uh, Chris and Shane and Miles and crew did an awesome job of the route, uh, not only yesterday but also today. Uh, it was long, uh, it was solid, it had a bit of everything and it was great fun. So a round of applause for Chris and Shane and Miles. Yeah. Yeah. for the week, 331 kilometers. Solid day again. If there's a really good mixture, we get back in some forestry stuff, some really scenic stuff, down some switchbacks, looking out over some valleys. Oh, it'd be good, just go out and do a couple of loops, different areas around, it's supposed to be some great tracks. So, yeah, have a bit of fun. It's good not having to pack up the bags, just go and ride and come back. Not not <laughs> <laughs> um, mate, over for a great day. I think it's going to be plenty of dirt on this ride. Um, lots of twisties, lots of uh, good views to look at, and um, over for a great day. Hopefully that rain stays away and should be sweet.
part of the world. Hopefully, not, not, no one's sort of overshooting corners today. Nothing that happens, really. It's always someone else. Hopefully, hopefully it's someone else. Thought I was the king of the world, saw some smart ass, Miles Davis went around me like I was an idiot. Apart from that, having fun. The ball were just discussing uh, tyres, and we might have to get another set. <laughs> so we're chewing up a few rears. We're probably having, we're probably having too much fun. <laughs> My hands got a little bit cold. <laughs> he was going to put his heater grips on. You put your hand warmer on. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? They're there. They're there. They're there. Those will use them. Exactly. Oh, awesome. Amazing. That's the best bit of road I've been on for a very long time. Yeah. 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 It's all piece of riding, you know, like even the even, even the fast dirt. You know, that was. That yeah. Was, and oh, and yeah. then some of the slippery stuff. It's just been yeah. a mix of everything. Yeah. Yeah. A mix of everything. Yeah. Bloody yeah. The bitumen was good fun. Good way to. Good way to we always relapse into the sorry state And why do we need to fall To get up again in solar days
What do you reckon, Andreas? Andreas is always a fan of doing wheelies, aren't you, Andreas? <laughs> He's very supportive. Well, very supportive, yes. <laughs> So, what's going on here? I thought I was throwing dust, but apparently I was just I heard throwing right out of smoke. Keep rolling. It's going really going good, good, mate. Yeah, yeah really terrible. Enjoying it. Yeah, having a good old time out there. Conditions are great. Did you fix the radiator? Yeah. Yes, we did. How did you fix it? Putty, the metal putty, flatten the fins out. I am, I'm back on the road thanks to uh, Benno. And thanks to Nigel for leaving me on the hill. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know whether it's right or not, but they used to claim it was the largest single drop wow. in the southern hemisphere. We've got about 100 kilometres to go. A couple of bikes and people, not so good, but plenty that are. Probably 245 people at the time of their life, including me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that going too fast? <laughs> <laughs> I splashed him. Huh? I splashed him. Oh, I'm going to have a look at the marks on the road. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got him good. An awesome route. Um, just over 300 k's total to get through. It's 
starts in the morning, we're going to get across the ferry, all of us. I'd never ridden this before we did the recce out from here out, out towards Armadale and it's, it's awesome. We're at the Settlement Point Ferry at Port Macquarie. We're heading to Armadale today. Just about to cross the river over here. Uh, we're going to go through some absolutely cracking tracks. Go through a beautiful place called George's Creek. Uh, wait for that one to get some awesome shots there. Getting a bit of water, but it was absolutely fun. And everyone coming down here, to be honest. Put the helmet off, a bit of water, unreal. Off-road training helps you do that, doesn't it? Wow, I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're only halfway there, you know. Yeah. 
Now I have to go back. <laughs> uh, amazing. I am stoked. Um, and I was shaking and, and I'm like, I can't try as I do this. <laughs> How good safari, eh? How good I can't get any better. <laughs> <laughs> Every day has just been amazing, and I'm, I can't get any better. And, yeah. and this just topped it again. Yeah. Uh, so I'm stoked. Okay. How fast was that? Oh. Speedy chain repair. Uh, my colleague, thanks man for that. D Dave's the name. Wayne. Wayne, thank you, Wayne. Oh, Chief mechanic hey, Wayne sticks. fixed it. <laughs> it's about the only I've thing never I've never had that uh, happen ever. A stick caught between the sprocket and the chain and flicked it. <laughs> I'm sure if anyone did go up it, they would have been gone. I did see an area that was probably it, I can't say for sure, but it was gnarly. We didn't um, pass. Head set on exactly what not to do, but he followed through every part of it, <laughs> every, including every, the crash. <laughs> <laughs> this is how not to crash. If you don't want to crash, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, or this will happen. Every yeah. part. <laughs> You're a great instructor, man. Oh, uh, <laughs> I like it. You never said a word because you thought I was dead. <laughs> Way full of uh, rocks and boulders and uh, very sharp rocks. Um, both sides. Some guys, one guy busted the rim yeah. back there. Oh, is that what's happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Rim. Oh. So, but we were worried that um, we'd get punted for one of the, the flat tire over here. Oh, yeah. But, um, it was pretty challenging. Yeah, it's good. How good is this? This is pretty impressive. But we've been working on this. I want to say a huge thank you to BMW, all the guys at Beamer, to Nige, to Tony and everyone from Armadale because it's not very often we come into a town and we're welcomed like this, where we can take over. So hands together again, everyone. I think it's it's really cool to see this. It's it's impressive. We come here on the recce and it was just a 
park and we tried to picture what we were going to have and it's it's more more than I could have imagined so it's it's awesome Uh, well, it's a bit cool, so we've got a few, bit of layer, lay it up a little bit and um, we're going to ride down to Coffs Harbour. Never done that before from here, so it'll be fun. Last day, yeah. Go so quick when you're having fun. The whole trip's been epic. It's been one of the best safaris so far. Yeah. Today's day five into Coffs Harbour. Uh, this year I aim to cross the finish line. I don't uh, think we're home in hose just yet. A good combination, very similar to what we've had. Just because it's a little bit shorter doesn't mean it's an easy day. All right, it's um, we're on the road, we get off road, stuff into the forest and into some rainforesty type stuff when we get closer to Coffs Harbour, more than I could have imagined. So it's it's awesome. It's a more beautiful ride. Hopefully, a little bit of um, a bit less dust. And just a nice happy finish. Hopefully, stay upright. Ready to rock. Last day here. Sad, but uh, great to, to complete it. Yeah. yeah. Assuming that we will. Yeah. <laughs> That's the aim for today. Have a lot of fun. We get to the end in one piece, so we can have the dinner tonight. So, looking forward to it. Yeah. How are you going? It's very dusty. <laughs> very, very dusty. Parts there where it was dust out. No visibility, just slow down, slow down. Anyway, we're here. I was just saying that you probably tend to challenge yourself and push yourself a bit harder than you normally would because you know you've got the backup and the support. Which is the great thing, mm. you know, if you drop it or anything like that, there's always three guys there right away to help you. When you drop it? Well, <laughs> <laughs> you've got to be positive and hope you don't, but yeah. I think everyone does at some stage or another. Yeah. yeah.
five. Day that's five. Cold and dusty, but nice. Yeah. yeah. Can't You've believe it's day five already. Like it's yeah. gone so quick. This week. Two day, two day ride home tomorrow. Young, young New South Wales. It's a long, it's a fair way, central New South Wales. Yeah. Yeah. And you rode here as well. I rode here to Windsor. Yeah. There's like a double safari. Oh yeah. <laughs> How many I've, I've been away from home for ten days by the time. Oh we get really? Back. Yeah. Loving it? Yeah, loving it. Yeah, how are you going? Um, Still going strong? Still going strong. Didn't want to start this morning. I think it had a bit of vapour lock in the cap. Couldn't get fuel. But anyway, we've got it going. It's all good now. Hopefully we'll get out of the dust as we get into the forest towards Dorigo. Should, should be a bit more moisture in the ground and hopefully not too many rocks. We'll go and have some fun up there. Yeah, sounds good. Check out some rainforest. How can we help, mate? Someone can bring them back. Yeah, yeah. So how can I help you? How can I help? Well, if they can all get around them yep. slowly, yeah, it'll be all right. I think just Dean, can you just get everyone to stop here? Yep. And I'll try and go up and come back down and try and help them come back down. Is that all right, mate? Yeah. Okay, mate. All right. The motor's going, mate. No, it's shocking. That's nothing to do with the rules. That's not the rules. The rules is you've got to be going. Trees, that's definitely a crash. Barbed wire's a crash. 